seven reasons why you should start a YouTube channel. These are in ascending order. So the last reason why you should start a YouTube channel is to me the most important. So stay to the end. There is some controversial ones in here as well. So stay to the end of this video. Reason number seven why you should start a YouTube channel is an external reason. The external reason is the creator economy is set to double in the near future. Notice that more and more people are watching YouTube. More and more people are looking at YouTube and the creator economy to learn new skills. This is the creator economy changing. I know from my day, I'm 35 at the moment. I know from my day, we learn things from books and schools, but slowly but surely, I am seeing these changes, these changes where instead of looking at books and going to school and college and university, people are starting to look at YouTube and gaining knowledge and it is tried and tested. It is useful. It works. When you go to YouTube, you learn something like that. You learn it so, so quickly. There's usually graphics and edits and that helps people that learn in different ways to learn new skills where in schools and textbooks, these can take hours, weeks, years to learn all these skills. There are so many skills that I've learned how to do in a three minute video. Just so many, just top of my head, how to fit a carpet. I learned how to fit a carpet from watching a three minute video done. I didn't know how to fit a carpet before. I didn't really know how to cut it and shape it. I didn't know how to tuck it in over the edges. Three minutes later, I now know how to do this. YouTube is proving that it is actually a better way of learning. And that confirms that the YouTube, the creator economy is changing. It is growing and it is doubling. The more and more people that realize this and become accustomed to it, the more and more the creator economy will grow. So why should you start a YouTube channel is because the economy of the creators is growing. So you've got, you're stepping into a growing market, not a fading market, a growing market. So that is a hidden advantage of starting a YouTube channel. Reason number six is there is a low barrier to entry, meaning it costs you almost nothing to create a YouTube channel. It could actually cost you absolutely nothing. You have a phone, you're watching this probably on a phone. You have the studio you need to make a YouTube channel. However, I do recommend a few little tweaks and changes. I do recommend a little bit of financial input, but you don't have to do this. I recommend it. You don't have to do it. So personally, this light, this big light, I'm going to move it a little. Um, this is a big light. This is a key light. This is what they call a key light. So if you are doing videos indoors, I do recommend a key light. I'll show you the difference. No key light. So this is key light. This is no key light. You see how it's a little, the color just isn't quite there in this video. So with a key light, it puts a lot more emphasis on, I'll let my camera adjust, puts a lot more emphasis on the thing that's right there in front of the camera. So I do recommend a key light. I mean, I got this one off Facebook Marketplace. It was 15 pounds from a person, just like one village over. So it really is very, very cheap. I also recommend getting a microphone. I have this microphone. This one was from Amazon and it was probably something like 20 pounds. Uh, so it really, really is cheap barrier to entry. It's a cheap barrier to entry into this space. There are so many other businesses with huge barriers to entry, ones where you have to put so much money into that business that you are starting. You have to buy a, a vehicle. You have to buy a warehouse. You have to get staff. This is such a huge barrier to entry. You have to put in thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds before you even start. But when it comes to YouTube and the creator economy, you barely put anything in. You can start with absolute zero. I recommend the microphone and the light at the bare minimum. And that's it. I think that's all I've spent my money on, to be honest, uh, to create this channel. Uh, that is it. Reason number six is it is an extremely low barrier to entry to start a YouTube channel. Reason number five is you can do this in your own time, in your spare time, 
whenever you want. You set your own hours. It doesn't matter. There are things that can get in the way of other businesses. I'm going to keep comparing this starting a YouTube channel, YouTube business to other businesses because why not? So let's say you work a full-time job and you want to start another business. Let's say you want to run a shop. That's getting in the way of your current full-time job. So you have to take the risk of quitting and then going to start your business. If you're running a shop, it must be open during normal nine to five shopping hours for a for people to go and buy things from that shop. But a YouTube channel, you can work your original job that you were working into. You can do the YouTube channel in your spare time. You can do it after work, before work, at night. It doesn't matter at the weekends, on your on your holidays, bank holidays, anytime. It doesn't matter. You can do it anytime. The risk of you not having to quit your original job, the, the risk of getting involved, you're putting less money in. That was reason number six. And you're not taking that leap. You're not burning any bridges from your old employment. Another reason why you should start a YouTube channel is because you can do it in your spare time, which again, lowers the risk of having that financial impact in your life. Reason number four, and I'm sure all of you will resonate with this one, and reason number four is to be your own boss. Can you imagine being your own boss? No one above you telling you what to do. No one above you, over your shoulder, micromanaging. No one holding you to your time management, getting to work on time. No one at all is above you. Okay, maybe there's like some YouTube analytic analytics that do control what you do. So you need to review those analytics, see what works, see what people are responding to. So generally your, your viewers are your boss, but generally there is no one to actually say words for you to answer to. That is huge. And I'm sure most of you can relate that being your own boss would be awesome. So starting your own YouTube channel would allow you to be your own boss. If you are liking this content, do not forget to press the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you can be informed of any future videos that are coming out. And I've got some good videos coming as well. I'll give you a little uh, hint towards the end of this video as well of my future videos that will be coming out. Reason number three, we're getting close now. These are the deep ones. These are the ones that I think are really, really important. So this is reason number three is creating your YouTube channel within a limited company. Now this could be complex, but I'm gonna tell you the benefits. It's just a matter of starting a company with company's house or whoever is the same equivalent in your country is starting a company. Now this isn't hard. I think the hardest thing of starting a company from my experience is thinking of a company name. The rest of it's pretty easy and it's actually really cheap. 50 pounds to start a company. So if you do this, I recommend doing this at the start. So the reason why I recommend starting your YouTube channel in a limited company, such as Vikings, is, is what I have done, is created this YouTube channel under Vikings, a limited company. The reason I have done this, and the, this is the reason why this is a benefit of starting a YouTube channel, is because of the tax write-offs. Whoa, I'm not scared of the government. Don't worry, because the government create the rules. I just tell you the rules. So if they don't like what I'm saying to you right now, that sounds like a them problem. That sounds like a government problem. The reason why starting a limited company and a YouTube channel within a limited company is beneficial is because the money you receive, you can spend it before being taxed. Imagine, imagine what that is like. Most of us go to work and when we get our money, we are taxed instantly. We have no choice but to pay it. The money is taken from us straight away. Now, in a limited company, it is the opposite way around. You can make money in your company. You can spend that money in the company. And at the end of the year, you pay tax on what remains. So you are spending, you're buying things in that company before tax. And you are writing that off. So you could make a million pounds, a million dollars or whatever currency. And you spend that million dollars on your company. So at the end of the year, when you have zero profit because you've made it and you've spent it in equal proportion, you have zero profit, you have zero tax. 
Now, there's definitely more intricate things about this. And if you have questions about this, please leave your questions in the comments below. If there are loads of questions about this, I will be absolutely ecstatic to create another video to go a deep dive into how to create a limited company, how to spend money in the limited company, how to create tax write-offs and pay almost no, no tax or almost no tax within a limited company. So that is a huge reason, and that's going to be controversial for some, but these are the rules that our governments have made. We are not cheating the rules. We're not cheating the rules. They made them. We're following them. We're understanding the rules, and we're following the rules, and we're taking advantage of them the best way we can, and there's nothing wrong with that. Reason number three is that you can create a limited company and have your YouTube channel earning money within the limited company, and you can spend that money before tax. Reason number two, the penultimate reason why you should start a YouTube channel. Reason number two is that you have $100,000, £1,000, close enough for interest rates, get over it. So you have £100,000 in your head. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you how to unlock this. Now, you have knowledge in your head that other people do not have. This is really, really hard to wrap your head around. So I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to give you some things to look out for so you can identify the things that are in your head that is worth £100,000. Back in the day, you had knowledge in your head, but you could only reach the people around you, let's say about 60 years ago. You could only reach the people close to you. You could not scale, but we live in the age of the internet. So you can reach the entire world. You can do that. You can get that knowledge in your head and reach the entire world. So that is a positive of the creator economy of the internet. So I'm going to give you those tips on how to find that knowledge inside yourself. Note, when do you feel uncomfortable when you have something to do? Do you have some administration, paperwork? Do you have some paperwork to do and you feel uncomfortable? If you are told to do some DIY, I know myself, I am so, so bad at DIY. It's a running joke in my family that I am so, so bad at DIY. Everyone in my family is so good at DIY. Everybody. I am terrible at it. This shows me that the people who have the DIY knowledge can give that to me through the internet. I can go on YouTube and say, I don't know how to do this. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to go on YouTube. I'm going to find out how to do this. And I can learn that knowledge. I am the noob and those are the pros and I'm getting the knowledge from them. You've just identified there are some things that you feel anxious about that other people feel confident about. You've identified that now. So you've seen the knowledge gap. You've seen that it is a real thing that people do have the knowledge. So you're thinking to yourself, yes, but I think I feel anxious. Where's my knowledge? I don't know where my knowledge is. Okay, opposite. Let's flip it around. What do you do for a living? What do you teach people how to do? What do other people feel uncomfortable around that you don't feel uncomfortable around? For me, I feel super uncomfortable about DIY. I'm extremely comfortable with money, how to make money, how to make strategies. I am a certified financial planner, so I am extremely comfortable in these areas. I'm comfortable with administration. I'm now comfortable on camera because I made myself comfortable on camera through repetition and keeping going and keeping doing this. I'm now comfortable on the internet. So these are the things that I am now comfortable doing. So what are you comfortable doing? Are you a cleaner? You can teach people how to clean. I'm terrible at cleaning. I'm going to go on YouTube. If you're a cleaner and you've started a YouTube channel, I'm going to go on YouTube and say, how do I know how to clean this? How do I get this stain out? And I might watch your video. Are you a parent? Are you an experienced parent? Are you on your third child, your second child? How many people are brand spanking new parents going, how the hell do I do this? They're going on YouTube. They're going on YouTube and going, how do I do this? And you've made a video to show people, how do, I, how do I do this? How do I change a nappy? You are creating that content and people are learning from your past experiences. So you do have 100,000 pounds in your brain. You could be a cleaner. You could be a parent. You could be great at DIY. 
you could be into real estate or an estate agent you, you anything any job you can do transfer the skills that, of the job that you actually do and move it into youtube on your spare time what about your hobbies and interests move that onto youtube these are the things you've got experience you love doing that stuff are you into cars are you a mechanic i'm not terrible i'm terrible with cars but oh my god i love that uh, is it scotty kilner Scotty Kilner waving his hands around with his really high voice. What a guy. I love his channel. And this is because he brings value. He has a topic of interest and he is so, so useful for someone like me who has no experience in that area. Reason number two is you have £100,000 in your head. You just need to get that out, get that on the internet, get people seeing that and you will create the revenue from it. Before we get into reason number one, the number one reason why you should start a YouTube channel, I want to let you know that I am a certified financial planner. I have created a course on how to become financially free, financially independent. It is in the description below. It is via Payhip and Vikings University. There is a promo code next to it, promo code NET for 20% off. Do not forget to use the promo code, get that 20% off of the course. This is the cheapest the course will ever be. I will keep adding content to this course. As I add more content to the course, the course price will go up because it is more valuable. It will never ever be cheaper than it is today. So use the promo code NET, N-E-T. You just copy and paste it from in the description below. Click on the link, put the promo code in and become financially free. The course is about 16 hours long. There is so, so much knowledge that I've been able to get out from my certification, from my financial planning, my financial strategy certification. There's so much knowledge that I've got out of my brain into that course that will help you transform your life so you can become financially independent, not have to work, retire early, and live a fulfilling life. And that brings us to the last reason, reason number one, and that is to bring value to the world. This is kind of internal and external. This is the deepest reason that I can think, the deepest reason why I want to start YouTube, and that is to bring value to the world. I want to create these videos so people get value out of these videos. I want to get all the knowledge out of my brain and put it on the screen so people around the world can gain that knowledge that I have learned already. The internet has allowed us to have our influence on the world on a scale never ever seen before. You can influence so, so many people. So many people turn to YouTube to learn new skills. Myself included, I turned to YouTube many, many years ago when I wanted to learn about financial planning, financial strategies, which then took me on to gaining my certification. Without YouTube, I probably would never ever have got my certification because I would never have gone to a school or a library to get the book to learn that knowledge. YouTube was there. YouTube sparked that interest in me to get all this knowledge, to learn, to pass my exams, to get my certification. YouTube helped me get to that point. Without YouTube, I would not be where I am today. So imagine, can you have that same influence on someone else? The same influence that YouTube had on me can you have that influence on someone else? I know you can. I know you can. You're not just sat down doing nothing all day, every single day. You've got knowledge. You've got experience in something that will be super, super useful for someone out there. At least one person out there, you will influence them. But realistically, there are billions of people out there with access to YouTube and more and more are coming and you can influence them in a positive way. You can have a positive influence on people's lives by creating a YouTube channel. Now you might think, oh, this is all spirituality and all this stuff, because really it's all about making money and being my own business. That's true. Yes, you can, that's an element to it, but I told you these reasons are in a descending order. This is the top priority, to have influence on the world. The more people that you can influence, the better it is for the world. You can leave this world in a better place than when you were born. You are born in this world and when you pass away, you're leaving the world in a better place for your influence on this world. So starting a YouTube channel, whoa, that got deep. Whew, that got deep, didn't it? Starting a YouTube channel, oh, well, I'll put a camera on, I'll make some videos, I'll talk a little bit, I'll buy a light and a microphone, and yeah, that's, that's it. But we got deep, 
we got deep the amount of influence that we can have on this world by starting a YouTube channel. So reason number one is have influence on this world, create value for others so other people can transform their lives the way my life has been transformed by watching YouTube. I'll give you a heads up. We've got a couple of videos coming up soon. We've got how to get over the fear of starting YouTube. That is a video that is coming up soon. And after that, it will be followed by how to start a YouTube channel. We'll give you those step-by-step -step guides. Again, do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Doing this will allow you to see those videos as soon as possible. And hopefully those videos will help you if you're interested in starting YouTube as well. I'm going to do my best to go outside and do some more walk and talk videos. At the moment, I fully intended to go outside today and make this video as a walk and talk, show you the area where I'm from, to show you the area where I live, the beautiful scenery of where I live. But unfortunately, it is absolutely pelting it down. So uh, no, I'm sorry, it's not happening today. If you are interested on how I started, watch my first video right here and see how I started my journey on YouTube.